praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. We greet you, Lord Jesus. We greet you as the body of Christ today. We say thank you, Lord, for giving us another day that we can come together as one body in Jesus Christ to say thank you, Lord, to give you glory, to give you honor, to give you praise, to give you the fruit of our lips, to present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you, O God, which is our reasonable service. Hallelujah. And we just bless your name tonight. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we come before you and we ask you, Lord, to wash us and cleanse us. Wash us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Make us clean, Lord. Father God, correct everything that needs to be corrected in our lives. Lord, we come humbly before you, Father, and we lay ourselves on the altar of sacrifice today. And we say, God, have your way. Jesus Christ is Lord of our lives. And we say, Lord, have your way, God. We are your vessels. Use us the way you choose. Have your divine way in us, Lord. Forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of all unrighteousness. Forgive us of everything, Lord, that we did in word, deed, and thought that was not pleasing in your sight. God, have mercy. Have mercy upon your children tonight. Have mercy upon each and every one of us tonight in Jesus' mighty name, Lord God. Oh God, we bless your name. We worship you. We thank you, Lord, for this new day. This is the day that you have made, Lord, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Because we are here to glorify you and to bring glory and honor and praise to your name. Lord, we worship you and you alone. Lord, we give you the glory and we give you the honor. We give you the praise and we thank you for this new day that you have given us, Father. Oh, saturate us in your presence, Lord. Lord, we wait, we wait in your presence. You say, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Lord, we wait in your presence. Yes, Father. We wait patiently for your divine instructions to be revealed to us. We wait patiently for the download from heaven for today's assignment. Hallelujah, Lord. We open up our spirit, our hearts, our minds, to the mind of Christ, to the spirit of Christ Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just bless your name tonight. We thank you, Lord, for the washing and the cleansing and the sanctification again for this week's assignment, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we bring our children before you as we always do. We ask you, God, to touch them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, Lord. Watch over them, Lord God. Follow them everywhere they go, Lord. Lead them in a path of righteousness. Turn them away from sin. Turn them away from unrighteousness. Turn them away from evil. And guide them into your presence. Guide them with your Holy Spirit. Show them the way. Teach them thy precepts, O Lord. Speak to their hearts, speak to their mind, speak to their spirit, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Convict them, Lord, if they're going on the wrong path. And direct them on the right path, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your divine protection over their lives. From the oldest child to the youngest child. Oh, God, bless all our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, and our children. Watch over them, Lord God. Breathe on them, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. And have your divine way in their lives, Lord God. Cause them, Lord God, to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth with souls. Even from the youngest to the oldest, Father. You can use any one of our children, Lord God. 
to be kingdom minded kingdom builders lord we pray for their soul salvation that each and every one of them lord will hear your voice that each and every one of them will come into your kingdom that each and every one of them will be protected divinely by you lord god watch over them lord at whatever stage in life they are at keep them from all harm and danger in jesus mighty name let none of our children be harmed or hurt in jesus mighty name lord god them and send your minister and angels lord to keep them lord lest they dash their foot against the stone bear them up lord god in your hands lord god and watch over them lord god in jesus mighty name i ask you lord to bring divine intervention in all situations concerning them in jesus mighty name yes father in jesus name watch over them protect them divine protection for them lord and direct them lord in jesus mighty name amen i pray lord god for those that are sick and those that are suffering under the sound of my voice and those that are sick and suffering in our families whether it be mental spiritual or physical we pray for divine healing we bind and rebuke every unclean spirit every spirit of infirmity every spirit of darkness every spirit of mental illness every spirit of drug addiction in the mighty name of jesus every spirit of alcoholism and any kind of addictions in the mighty name of jesus smoking addictions any kind of cigarettes lord we bind those spirits in jesus mighty name we loose them from their assignment against our loved ones and against our friends and family members father we ask your father in jesus name lord god to remove every unclean spirit from our families lord god we bind up every generational spirits and curses lord that was unleashed against any one of our family members in jesus mighty name we bind up every unclean word that was spoken against any one of our family members including us lord in the mighty name of jesus we reverse every unclean word that was spoken against us and our family members in jesus mighty name and we bind and rebuke it and cast it in the pit of hell in jesus mighty name we make it void nil and void every unclean word every unclean spoken word against us and our families we bind it and we negate it with the spirit of christ we pray that the father the holy ghost would burn up anything that is not like you that was spoken of of our family members or any one of us or spoken to any one of us or to our families lord that was not of you oh god in the mighty name of jesus we bind and we loose and we cast down every imagination that exalts itself against the name of jesus christ and we ask you lord to let your spirit rule and reign in our lives we ask you lord god to have your way in everything that is done in our lives lord god i ask you lord god to go before us lord and prepare the atmospheres for us so that when we go anywhere father god we know that you have already divinely prepared it for us and lord let us not go anywhere lord you have not told us to go i pray in the name of jesus lord god that you will spiritually direct our path in the mighty name of jesus that we will not go in any directions that we're not supposed to go into in the mighty name of jesus i pray god for holy divine um divine instructions holy divine directions holy divine guidance in the mighty name of jesus for us and our family members in the name of jesus and for everyone under the sound of my voice and everyone that will come on this broadcast i pray in the name of jesus for divine leadership i pray in the name of jesus for holiness in us and holiness in our homes and holiness everywhere we go i pray we will give off holiness in every place we go and every person that we speak to i pray god that we will speak righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost and that holiness will come forth through us in the name of jesus father we ask your father god to give us your complete divine directions lord god your complete divine protection lord protect us and our loved ones lord in the mighty name of jesus we bind up and loose from anything lord that was not of you we bind it and loose it from its assignment against us and our family members in the mighty name of jesus lord god and we ask you lord god for divine healing divine protection divine guidance divine love into our hearts and our minds and our spirits lord god 
we thank you lord god in the mighty name of jesus for all that you're doing in jesus mighty name father god i pray for the young lady the little girl that's 13 years old that passed away named lyric i pray for lyric family in the name of jesus I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that Lyric's mother and father and sisters and brothers, Lord, will come into the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus and find comfort and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, God, that you will help them, Lord, to be able to overcome um, longing and, and, the, and, the, and the, the loss of their loved one, Lyric, baby lyric lord i pray for her in the name of jesus that her family lord god will come to terms with that she's gone in the name of jesus lord god and that the legacy that she has left lord god that they will build positive uh examples of strong people who went through cancer and they had faith all the way in the name of jesus through the whole battle father because she was a warrior and she was a strong little girl, Lord God. And we pray for her family, Lord, that they will learn from her faith and her strength in God. Because, Lord, she trusted you all the way, Lord God. Because she, she walked by faith and not by sight. And I pray for that 13-year-old little girl named Lyric that had that brain cancer. Father, I pray, Lord, for her family. I pray for peace and love and, and that you will guide her family and especially her mother. Lord God, I pray for her mother in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray, God, that you will touch her mother right now from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord God. Lord God, I pray you will strengthen her, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord God, because she was taking care of her daughter, Lyric, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. She left her job to take care of her child. And God, I pray, God, that you will replenish her, her strength. You will re restore her everything, Lord, that she gave out. Lord God, that you will strengthen her and build her up, Lord God, that she could help others, other young children, Lord, that will suffer like her daughter did, Lord God. I pray that she will be an encouragement to mothers that went through, that will go, will go through or, or have the possibility of going through what she went through. Father, I pray she will be an example. I pray she will be a help, Lord God. I pray she will be a strength to mothers that have children that have brain tumors and cancer i pray in the name of jesus for this mother lord god in the mighty name of jesus i pray god you will touch the family touch the aunties and the uncles and the sisters and brothers because they're hurting they're missing their, their their lyric their little sister their daughter their their little cousin whatever she was to each and every one of them their mother and father missed their daughter lord god i pray in the name of jesus that you will fill every void in their hearts lord right now in the name of jesus god give them comfort in you lord god bring them closer to you lord god because they need you now more than ever before lord in the mighty name of jesus lord show them that it's only through you christ jesus that they're gonna be have comfort in their hearts it's only through you christ jesus that they'll be able to overcome the the reality of their child is no longer here in the land of the living father i pray in the name of jesus lord god that you will touch every person lord god that helped their family lord god as they were going through all those artists and singers that came to donate money and to, to take her out and to help her and to help her fulfill her dreams while she was here i pray god for all of them that the, the singer the truth that came and he had all the people coming together to help this family i pray for mr truth or that, that rap singer mr truth i pray for you too i thank god for a man of god to have a heart like that to be able to know that these people needed your help and you put your arms outstretched to this family and you help them with their child and you help them with the finances you help them to be encouraged and to encourage their daughter lyric i pray god in jesus name that the blessings that you have bestowed upon this family will come back to you a hundred trillion million fold in jesus mighty name to that rap singer the the truth you did a work of god right there in that family and god i pray for that man i pray for his soul i pray that lord that you will touch everyone lord that has touched this child's heart 
and this mother and father's heart as they were going through. I pray in Jesus' name, Lord God, that you will comfort those that have lost loved ones in this season. But I'm especially praying for Lyric, Lyric's family members because they are going through right now. And I pray in Jesus' name you will help them, Lord God, and bring them all the way to a place of peace and comfort. And I pray they will come into the kingdom. I pray they will hear the clarion call. I pray her mother will hear your voice. I pray her mother will reach out to you, Lord God. I pray in the name of Jesus that she will stretch out her arms to you. I pray in the name of Jesus she will stretch out her heart to you. And you will hear her. In the name of Jesus, touch, touch and heal Lyric's mother and father and sisters and brothers and aunties and uncles and cousins and everybody in their family. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Lord, I pray, Lord God, in Jesus' name for the fivefold ministry gifts in the body of Christ. I pray, God, that you are touching them right now. Strengthen, heal, deliver, set free. Set ministries in order in Jesus' name and bring things to the place where you want them to be, Lord God, as, as the countries are, are coming back to some sort of normalcy. I pray in the name of Jesus that all will be safe, Father, in the name of Jesus, especially in the body of Christ. I pray that they will continue to be safe in the buildings and, and wear their masks and do the things that need to be done for safety reasons. Father, we ask you, Lord, to bless the pastors, the apostles, the preachers, and the teachers, and the evangelists, Lord God, and bless those, Lord God, that are ministering on the airways and highways and the byways. Bless those that are on the trains and buses ministering. Bless those that are everywhere ministering, Father, all over the world. I pray strength for every minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ on all levels, Father, wherever they may be, in the countries, in the cities, wherever they are, I pray in Jesus' mighty name, God, that you will bless and you will comfort and you will give encouragement to each and every minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh God, I thank you, Lord God, for all in the name of Jesus that will come on this broadcast. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. We're going to look at Romans chapter 12. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Isn't God awesome? He's an awesome God. He is an awesome God. Amen. Romans chapter 12. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. This scripture is plain and straightforward. That God wants us to be holy before him. God wants us to be acceptable unto him. God wants us to present ourselves as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto God. And it is our reasonable service to do it. God does not force us to be holy. God does not force us to come to him acceptable. It is our duty. It is our reasonable service unto God as children of the Most High God, to come to him holy, to come to him acceptable to him. We have to have a sweet-smelling fragrance unto God for him to receive us. If our fragrance is not sweet-smelling, he will not receive us. So it is our duty to live holy. Unholiness is an unholy fragrance to God. Holiness is a sweet smelling savor to God. He smells holiness coming from us when we are living holy. He smells unholiness when we are living unholy. So it is our reasonable service 
and our duty to come before Jesus Christ in a certain way. And that way, according to the word of God says that we have to present our bodies as living sacrifices. That means we have to be watchful and mindful what we're taking into our minds, our body, and our spirit. If we're taking in unholy things into our mind, then our body will begin to manifest the unholiness. But if we take in holy things, the things of God that are in his word, then we will begin to bear fruit of the Holy Spirit and the Lord will smell the holiness in us of the Holy Spirit. We are to present ourselves as living sacrifices, not a dead sacrifice such as lambs and rams and bulls and goats. Those are no longer acceptable to Christ because Jesus Christ became the ultimate sacrifice. So he no longer receives those lambs and bulls and rams, those dead sacrifices. He now requires a living sacrifice. We, the body of Christ, the children of God, are the living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto God. But we must keep our bodies in line with the spirit of Christ as the body of Christ. Each one of us has a part in the body of Christ. We have head, arms, legs, and the whole body. And each person has a part in the body. We are jointly fit together by Christ Jesus to perfection, representing his body. His spirit abides in our bodies. So we as individuals must keep our bodies clean, consecrated, and dedicated to God. Hallelujah. He told us to be in the world, but not of the world. Because we are living sacrifices unto God, we are different. Because we walk in holiness and righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost, and we're carrying light, everywhere we go, we are going to be shining. We're going to be shining in the darkness that's all around us. We may be the only light in the room, and we must always be lit up with Christ Jesus, with his Holy Spirit, with his light. We must never let his light get dim in us because we are walking in the flesh. We must keep our focus on heavenly minded things. He gave us a body to take care of. He gave us a body that is filled with his Holy Spirit. And when we are in this body, we have to maintain it. Just like we have to eat natural food, we have to eat spiritual food. Our spiritual food is the Holy Bible, the Word of God. Our spiritual food is the preached Word of God that comes from preachers and teachers of the body of Christ, of the kingdom of God. We are to take care and maintain our body. Our body needs water, the water of the Word, just like we need natural water we need the spiritual water of the holy ghost we need the spiritual water of the word so that we can present our bodies living sacrifices holy and acceptable unto god which is our reasonable service it's our service to god to be holy we have to do the work he's not going to force us we have to make that sacrifice to be living sacrifices. We're alive in Christ. We are no longer dead in the spirit. We are alive through Christ and we are alive in Christ. We are to be walking, living testaments, walking, living testimonies of Jesus Christ in the earth. We are to come 
before our Savior, acceptable with a holy fragrance. It is unacceptable to have an unholy fragrance and try to come before God because he will not receive the unholy smell. He will not receive the unholy fragrance. He will only receive his spirit and his fragrance that comes in and through us back up to him as a sweet smelling savor. And we have to present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. That's our service to God. And he said, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The only way that we can prove what is the good and acceptable will of God to others is that we must have that sweet smell and savor, that sweet fragrance of holiness from God. The holy fragrance can only come from God. The holy fragrance can only come from spending time in God's presence. That when you're in other people's presence, the presence of God in you will come in that same room that you're in every time you walk in it, no matter where you are. For I say, through the grace given unto me to every man, that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. God wants us to be humble. God wants us to walk in faith. Walk by faith, not by sight, and walk in humility. Because that's giving God that, that sweet smell and fragrance when he sees your humility. When he sees you come before him with a humble heart and not a lofty heart, a lofty spirit, a prideful spirit, but a, a humble spirit. Walking by faith and not by sight. Having faith in our Jesus Christ brings that sweet smell and savor unto God. Brings us in that place of holiness when we allow God to have his way in us as we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. For as we have many members in one body and all members are not the same office, so we being many, are one body in Christ and every one members one of another. So he's telling us that we are one body in Jesus Christ and all of us are members of Jesus Christ's body. And we are one in Jesus Christ. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith or ministry, let us wait on our ministering. Or he that teacheth on teaching. Or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Now he's saying that all of us have different gifts in the body, but we are one. And when we come together as a body, we bring all those gifts together to bring up a sweet smell and fragrance of holiness unto God as we build in his kingdom, as we edify each other, as we prophesy, as we teach, as we preach, as we exhort, as we edify, as we give, as we love, we do it in Jesus' name and we do it together as one body. We don't get jealous of each other. We don't get in competition with each other, but we build each other up. We edify each other and we work together in the kingdom of God right here in the earth. Hallelujah. Not only in the church house, but everywhere we go all over the world. Hallelujah. And verse nine says, let love be without dissimulation. Love must be ruler of all our spirit because God is love and if we have Jesus Christ in us we're walking in love and that must be 
in our hearts at all times and in all seasons. Hallelujah. Let love ha- be without dissimulations. There should be no confusion. There should be no no competition, no fights, and no strife, no nothing. We are to be love, loving God and pouring love on the people. Hallelujah. And loving each other. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Do not love evil. Cleave to that which is good. Get away from evil. Turn away from evil. Get far away from evil. Don't link up with evil. Hallelujah. Cleave to that which is good. If there's any good in it, cleave to that. Hallelujah. Because God is good all the time. Be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love in honor, preferring one another. That's brotherly love. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Do everything that you do as unto the Lord. And love your brothers and sisters as you're working together in the kingdom, serving our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints, giving to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Now you hear the Lord is saying that we're not supposed to be slothful in anything that we do. Don't be slothful and lazy. We do it from our heart as unto God everything we do. Have a fervent spirit when we're serving God. Do it from your heart. Do it from your heart with love. Do whatever you're doing for God because he's watching. Don't do it for man's approval, but do it for God's approval. Do it as unto the Lord because he's watching. He sent you down here to do a service for him. And everything that you do, you must do it with fervent love. The love of God must be in all things that you are doing. Do everything that you do with love, with the love of God, and do it as unto God. Do everything you're doing in the earth as you're doing it unto God. And don't be slothful, lazy, competitive, jealous, Com- don't do things for earthly gain do things for God do things that you are sowing into the kingdom of God with all your heart and all your mind and all your spirit do it because you love God and for no other reason do everything you do because you love God hallelujah He said, not slothful in business. Do your business for God with fervent love for the love of the Lord. And honor your brothers and your sisters. Be kind to them. Love them. And serve God together with them. Rejoicing in hope. Patient in tribulation. Continuing instant in prayer. Stay prayerful and keep rejoicing in the hope of Jesus Christ. No matter what kind of tribulations you are experiencing, continue on rejoicing in hope in Christ. Distributing to the necessity of the saints given to hospitality. Have a giving heart, a giving spirit. Help people. Have that in your heart to help people. Bless them that which persecute you and bless and curse not. We are not here to to curse anybody. We're here to bless. God sent us to be a blessing to the people, not to be a cursing to anybody. We are to be a blessing. God didn't tell us to link up with no demons. He told us to cast the demons out of the people that's cursing you and bless them and help them. Help them to get rid of those demons. Help them to get delivered. Help them to get set free. Pray for them. 
even when they're not willing to be set free you can go in your prayer closet and pray for them blessing them pray for their victory pray for their deliverance pray that those demons will be cast out in the name of jesus and help them and bless that person cast that demon out and bless that person in jesus name rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep the bible is telling us that we have to help people to be comforted we have to come down to their level to bring them up and help them and those that are experiencing uh great blessings we got to rejoice with them and be happy for them not jealous for them but to be happy for them and rejoice with them and when those are weeping weep with them help them build them up help them pray for them give them encouragement comfort them sit by their side be with them do what needs to be done to help build them up hallelujah be of the same mind one toward another mind not high things but condescend to men of low estate be not wise in your own conceits don't think of yourself more highly than anybody else because today you up high because god has a way of humbling us if we get high and lofty so remember that never look down on nobody else never get conceited never think we are greater than anybody else help those that are down help those that 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 are lacking help those that need help help them to come up don't look down don't step on people don't speak down to anybody but speak them up and edify them up because we are here to edify and to bless and to build up and to help people to get free hallelujah in jesus name and to help people to come into the kingdom of god just like somebody helped us recompense to no man evil for evil provide things honest in the sight of all men so he, he is telling us not to do evil for evil when people do evil to you look for some way to bless them not to curse them we have to do differently we are different we are peculiar people we are not here permanently forever we are pilgrims and sojourners in the land and we have an assignment from jesus christ and we must do our assignments we are peculiar we are not like people in the land that are not saved we are born again we are filled with the holy spirit we are carrying the light of jesus christ and when people come to do evil to us we have to find a way to do good to them reverse that evil with good hallelujah if it be possible as much as lieth in me in you and in me live peaceably with all men find a way to diffuse any kind of disagreements or any kind of confusion we are here to be peacemakers in the earth and to bring people into christ's kingdom and to help them to be set free in the name of jesus we are not here to bring strife and division and confusion we are here to call people to come to the spirit of christ to come into the kingdom of god to come whosoever will come into the kingdom of god whosoever will say yes to jesus christ and come and hear what the spirit of the lord has to say Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. The Lord will recompense you of all evil and all ill that is done against you. You need not to try to avenge yourself. We are here to bless. We are here to build up. We are here to encourage. We are here to encourage others to come. Whosoever will come. Taste and see that the Lord is good. God is good. Come and get this goodness, even though you're evil. And you will no longer be evil, my Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If, a, if he thirsts, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. God tells us to do the opposite of what? the evil 
people will do to you. He said to feed your enemies. Yes, when they're hungry. He said to give your enemies drink when they're thirsty. When your enemies come to you with their evil, feed them the word of God. When your enemies come to you with their evil, give them the water of the word of God to drink. Hallelujah. Don't give them a curse back. Don't give them an evil word back, but give them the food of the word of God and a drink of the word of the Lord. And the Bible says that that thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head when you feed them and you give them drink of the word of God. Hallelujah. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. We have to overcome evil with good. We are not to do evil for evil. That's what God's word said. And God bless you. And I pray in the name of Jesus that your spirit was edified today in the name of Jesus. God bless you and thank you for coming on Gentle Breeze Worship Ministry. Prayer intercession every Sunday at 6 p.m. And let us get edified together, built up together. Pray together. Get a word in together. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you all. And have a wonderful, victorious week. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. And amen. Good night.